Hi everyone, so today we're here having a look at a uh, Dixon style um, tool post for the Myford uh, ML7 and again I think it fits the uh, Super 7 as well so um, so uh, I bought this uh, from RDG here in the in the UK um, and uh, yeah I just sort of run through through uh, what you get if again because they couldn't see too much on the web to uh, to help me before I um I bought it um I was going to go with one of the the peewee um, multi fix ones but I did watch uh, Duncan Bullock who's got a very close to my um, my lathe very similar to the spec of mine but he's his is very nice, mine's a bit a bit weary. So anyway, so I decided to get one of these and actually uh, had a bit of a chat with Duncan and he was kind enough to give me a um, a discount code. So I got it a, a little bit cheaper. So that was, uh, so thank you for that, Duncan. So anyway, let's have a bit of a look through it just so there might be a bit more information for anyone thinking about buying, buying one of these. So... Um, I suppose we best do it in millimetres or oh, wrong side. So it's about 50, 57. Yeah, 57 square. It's about 36 high. Um, it's got a, quite, quite a bit of weight to it, actually. Um, and I don't know how close you guys can see, but the... Uh, the finish of it is is not too bad. I think this is uh, it's okay though. There, there doesn't appear to be too many burrs. Well, it doesn't appear to be any really. It's a bit when you turn to actuate the pistons. It, it's a little bit crunchy, um, but I guess that'll get better with time. So, absolutely no problem with that. I think it's uh, pretty good. The tool posts. You can get it with various options. Um, I got it with just three, uh, uh, three tool posts, two holders, three two holders, two two playing ones, and one with a with a. Sorry, I have to keep waking the GoPro up with the slot in. So if you've got a round boring bar, it's got somewhere to sit in. So they these have been slightly disappointing. Uh, Two were fine. The um, all the threads work, tickety boo. Everything's okay. They probably could do with running over one of them. Had a a bit of a swarf in there, which I had to knock out because it didn't want to sit onto the tool post. Uh, they yeah they're well yeah yeah they're not too bad. So two were just yep. Yeah, lovely no problems at all the third one had the locking locking screw missing and these these uh, these three just don't want to move I managed to undo them but uh, they really would benefit from running through with a, a tap um, so I contacted RDG these only arrived yesterday and today's Sunday so um, I sent them an email saying I've got a missing one I, I didn't mention this because at the price point I'm not sure you can expect too much much more so I will get a get a tap and just run through them myself uh, just to try and ease it up because it will drive me crazy um, so yeah so that was a bit of a shame um, so what one could say the quality is sort of, um, I don't know what you would, uh, intermittent, maybe that's the word, yeah. So, what am I trying to do here? Let me try it. I can't put it on here now. 
be messing around. Right, there we go. So, I was playing with these this at home last night, and one of the things that struck me uh, was you've got this width here, and you've got the uh, the tool post or the tool holder. Now, arguably, it's probably got to be better to try and set this mainly in the middle. Now, I had in my mind that this is, yeah, it's a quick change tool post, but it doesn't mean it's a quick setup tool post. So once you set the center height, you know, you're going to set the center height of the uh, of your cutting tool. If for some reason, so let's, uh, sorry, I should have, should have mentioned, this is 13 mil. So if we look at some of the uh, the tools I've got that came with the Myford, actually, we use that one. I've already done it. These fit in, so I don't have much leeway. It, it's going to end up. It's going to end up in there, wherever the centre height. You know, to get me the right centre height. Might be better if I put the tool in the right way. But when you've got something smaller, so we've got that baby, what I've got in my mind is that maybe I do, maybe I should pack, put some packy in, just like in the old traditional ways, to ensure that when I'm when it when I drop it onto here, it pretty much is in the centre of the center there so then because that's where the main pressure is and you're going to get a uh, a more accurate and a more secure fixing now i might be over overthinking this which i'm quite capable of doing but in reality it does seem uh um okay you know well you do what you want but that's what i'm going to do so, because uh, it would just make me uh, feel more comfortable that I've got something a bit more uh, rather than being on the extremities, it's got to be what well, I feel it's got to be better if it's in the middle. So, yeah, so my thought is it is a quick change tool post, but it's not necessarily a quick, a quick setup. Because once you set it up, then you can do use the quick changing. So looking at all the, um, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So all the millions of tools I, I got uh, with buying the MyFood, everything, pretty much everything I've got here fits in here. These are some really dinky, never been used, these little eclipse. So again, setting these up. I'll pack should I choose to use these on here. To be honest, I'm thinking of these more for the uh, Unimat, so uh, probably won't be doing that anyway. Um, handle came with it, so just to uh, you know, lock it off. It's uh, it's a bit of a shame, really. It's a bit cheap and cheerful. Uh, you know, can be fixed with a file. And uh, but it was, yeah, yeah, I just thought it would be a bit, um, especially as a bit you grab hold of all the time. So that was, a, that's a bit of a shame. So what I do, um, there's not much really else to say, say on this. Um, I'll move the camera over and show you it going on to the ML7. Okay, so here we are at the lathe. So this is, you know, the original uh, Myford um, tool holder. So I think I probably don't need a spanner actually. So I have taken this off earlier just to have a look to see um, see how, how it went on. So a bit of preparation. Okay. So as you can see, this is a bit battle weary. I gave it a bit of a rub over with a. Uh, with a stone, not that I've got anything like Stephen Lang's um, precision ones, but it is. I took a few of the high edges off, and it, it, it seems right. So this is all this this layer is very standard. Um, 
albeit tired. <laughs> so um, so it just actually fits on perfect. So uh, yeah, it seems it's pretty good. So uh, let me find the nut. So what I did find, I keep saying so. So I'll try and stop that. With the nut, um, with the standard nut, it's a bit of a, it's not right now. I know I need a washer, so I need to get one of those. I'm just, I won't do it up tight, just going to nip it slightly, just to get better use of the right end of the spanner, better use of the right spanner. Let's just do it like that for the moment. Okay, just get a tool holder. The advantage of this small workshop there's never uh, so let me see if I can find the spanner that's better so really that's it she just goes on pretty uh, straight away as I'm sure you know, you can adjust it. Adjust it with, uh, oh, when it's not locked. You can go up and down with this. And then when you've got it to your center height, you then can tighten it down. So, that's about bloody another so. Anyway, there we are. So, what the plan is, I need to make a washer for it. I guess I'll probably make a handle at some time. You just have to ensure that you've positioned these. Um, they can argue. Let's take that off. When you've got the nut there, it will hit. So you need to get them in the right position before you do the nut up. So, um, but if if I make one of the handles like everyone does um, to negate the need of the spanner then that won't be a problem which I, I think I probably will because then I can maintain the um, the original Myford nut um, and I also if for some reason I needed to use a bigger a bigger tool which I don't plan to um, I've still got all the original setup and nothing's changed so it's all it's all pretty standard so would I buy it do I think it's friendly for money yeah I think it probably is um, obviously well I suppose I have to say this no one's I paid for well yeah I think I said it earlier I paid for this so no one knows um, it's not like I have any uh, interest in promoting it I think yeah probably is reasonable value for money and um, what I was quite keen to do is not try and stretch the Myford to have bigger and bigger tool posts so I can have bigger bigger tooling in, you know. If I need bigger tooling and a bigger lathe then I need to go and buy one, not try and not try and make, you know, a, a mini a Ferrari. I think play to the to the Myford strengths and actually use the right tools. Um so that that's that's my approach so anyway that's the um uh it's also called a t so if you were looking for these uh additional ones or if you're searching t37 that's the other name uh, dixon t37 uh these seem to be go for about 20 pound each the tool holders and i think um if i'm 
my memory shows me correctly, John at John's uh, workshop up in Scotland made some with his milling machine. Um, so they are they are uh, it is possible to to make them yourself. So yeah, well that's about it. Hopefully it will be uh, useful to you all. Right, everyone, back again. I've been having a little play with the um, with the tool holders, trying to get them on uh, on centre height. And actually, I've misinformed you. So, although um, this is thirteen mil, and uh, and actually, I do recall it, um, RDG did actually they do actually state it on their um, their website that a 10 mil tooling is the maximum you can have should you want to get it on centre height. So uh, let me go around here because I can't see if you can see. So uh, yeah, so looking at a lot of, so some of the, some of the tooling I've got won't work like I showed you earlier because these are all 12, I don't know why I'm measuring the width, anyway, yeah, so, so there is a limitation on some of it, but actually I've got heaps of um, 10 mil stuff, new boring bars, um, well they're 10 and a half actually, and I've tried, tried them in, and that's okay, because as you know the, the tip, the tip's lower, so so that's okay um so yeah so buyer beware you've got to you do if you if you buy one of these t37 dixon style tool post you will be limited to about a 10 mil cutting tool if it's any bigger than that other than the exception of the boring bar you're going to be in trouble. So if you uh, have a desire to use bigger tools, then, then this baby is not for you. Okay, sorry for misleading you, but hopefully uh, with the power of editing this, uh, I put that misinformation uh, correct. Okay, thanks very much.